friends. I'll go on without you. There's a girl. my car. Brand new car. I've nicked me bloody car. Full house. Queens and Jacks. You spawny get Edward. You had them up your sleeve. I write you down as a soul loser, Stick. Bessie. You don't get away with it that easy. You go for it? Clearing about punishment, aren't you? Stay. You know, I can't. There's no reason to stop trying. I'll raise you twenty. Short and liquid ready, as it happens. Too bad, killer. No checks. I'll think of something else to put up. Such as? It's not the winning, it's the taking part. Well, that's bollocks, cos I want you to get out there and win. And if anyone gets in your way, I want them picking spokes out the guts, all right? Well, go ahead, then. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Harbour. Yeah. I'm after a bike. Off-road number. Shops are full of them. But the thing is, I'm looking for something a little bit special. You know what I mean? I was told you might be able to help. You don't sell this then. Used to. Don't sell them. But I had to go on holiday in a hurry. Now you fancy a comeback. But you don't ask what it's for, and I'll not ask where it's from, eh? Sean! Chuck us that lid, will ya? The big one. Yeah. There you go. You don't want to spend a lot of money and then find out you lost your touch, do you? Bike I'm after. Not a job. Shit, Ed, I'm gonna have you. Hey, behave. All right, sir, uh, maybe we can do business. I'll keep my eye out. What's your number? I'll be in touch. I piss off while you can still walk. Shut your mouth, son. While you can still talk. Simon's magic. Well, you run me, remember? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Listen, I can come back later, you know, if you're, uh, if you're busy. We're here now, man. Fancy some tea I'm just about to make. Yeah, lovely, thanks. Sit down, man. You're making us nervous. God, this is going back a bit, isn't it? Yeah. The best of Morland's Marauders? Digitally remastered. Kept that nice and quiet, mate. I didn't know about it. 
the record company did it off their own bat. I'd still be none the wiser if this reporter hadn't rung up and told us. A reporter? What, from one of the nationals? Nah, some local rag. The only national ad makes the antiques monthly. Thank you. She doesn't like this going on about me age. Pain in the neck, eh? I fell off a motorbike. Oh, I'm getting too old for all this. What is it with this age thing? Talking about motorbikes, Emily had his nick the other week. Keith. We haven't even reported it yet. What's the point? It'll be in bits all over town by now. I just want to forget about it, OK? Excuse me. I don't get it. If she hasn't got a bike, she'll lose her job. Anything you can do? <sighs> to be perfectly honest, I doubt it. She'd be better off just sticking a claim in. She seems dead set against that. I think I'll head off. Leave you two to it. Do you not want a can? Present for the period. What? Whose is that? Just mine. I want it in a hand of poker. Now, Betty, this is Spender. When's your next poker game scheduled? Saturday. Why? Because you're going to take that thing back and lose it again, all right? I don't mind sharing a gaff with one animal, but I draw the line at two. All good relationships are founded in trust, you know. I don't need a relationship with a greyhound. Bad enough coping with you. And while it's in here, it wears a muzzle, right? But how's she going to chew her food? You can do it. Don't fret, Pet. His bark is worse than his bite. Terry? Hello. What are you doing here? I've come to see you. Why is Dan? Sick, as of yesterday afternoon. You asked for information on the Samuel Harper. Mm. I'm chasing up stolen motorbikes. Looks like Harper might be involved. Released in 1989 after serving four years for receiving cars, as it happens. He's now got a shop on the Westcott Road, selling reconditioned motorbike parts. Reconditioned? That's a new word for it. You also asked about a particular bike, Suzuki 125. Keep uh, one Emily Goodman. Mm -hmm. No official report of any theft. Hardly surprising, because Miss Goodman doesn't have a license. What? She's a friend of yours. Friend of a friend. Well, I'd advise her to pass her test before she gets another bike. Are you sure about that? And you wouldn't be the first time Swansea dropped a bollock. You want me to run a PNC? Yeah, would you? Look, Eileen, up until now in my life, I've achieved the sum total of absolutely nothing. I want to give this a go, and if it doesn't work out, well, I'm no worse off than I am right now. Are you sure about that? No. This is it. 
I know you made your mind up about all this, Norman, but are you sure you're doing the right thing? Got to speculate to accumulate. I'm sure the owners of all these empty shops have the same thought. Well, why don't you talk to somebody about it? Get some advice. Like who? Banks? Nah. I feel uncomfortable going into them places in daylight hours. What about your mate, then? Who? Nah, it's not worth asking him. He can just pour cold water on it. Listen, love, I know you're just trying to look like fellas, and it's a nice feeling. It's one I'm not used to, but... A man's got to do what a man's got to do. in the tooth. Yes, well, if I'd have known it was you in there. Sorry. Five years we had floss. It was part of my life. Doris and I never had kids, you know. To lose her like that. Run down in the street by some... some... Thief! Yeah, it's tough right enough. Thought about maybe getting another dog? Never mind about getting another dog. It's them bastards that killed my floss I'm going to get. And I'm going to do it like you would. Well, hang on a minute, Dan. I've got the gear. Never thought I had it in me, did you? You're supposed to charge these things up, you know. Listen, Dan, this is a dangerous gig. I mean, these car thieves, well, they're tough, you know. They're professionals. They're not kids. Not that you're likely to nick anybody in that thing, mate. What's wrong with it? Well, what self-respecting car thief's gonna make off in one of those? Hmm? I suppose you're right. Never thought. Look, a bit of advice. Why don't you go home, get cleaned up and get some rest? Are you listening? I love that dog. I mean, she was intelligent, smart. Yeah. No great shakes at crossing the road, mate, but. What do you want? The organ grinder. Thought you'd say no. You were right. I'm still after a bike. All right, well, maybe you should try somewhat safer, like a skateboard. Go and clean up the yard, will you? He's not what you'd call a good loser. Oh, I'm sure he'll improve with practice. Spares, is it? That's right. I'm sure we could uh, chuck a few together for the right price. How does a grand sound? Pound notes. Get a decent machine for that. 
as long as it's fast and it can't be traced. Get him back into it, are you? Most across. All right, I'll sort you out a machine. But we don't do special orders here. You know, the neighbors, they complain about the noise. Awkward buggers, eh? Something like that. All right. I'll give you a ring Saturday. Cheeky bastard, aren't you? Something like that. It's not cheap. I'm not scared. You will not be sorry. Keith Morland, not me. Uh, hello. Hi. Did you do it? She seems nice enough. You reckon? Well, any publicity is good publicity, so they say. Maybe. You know, Keith wanted me to find out about this bike of yours. Yeah. It's not a good idea riding around without a license. I know how to ride a bike. I just never got round to taking the test. Yeah, but no license, no insurance, right? And it only takes one stupid bugger to knock you off and... Look, I know it's none of my business. Do you? So, tell me about your life in the fast lane, then. Well, it's, um, fast, as far as I can remember. <laughs> Who would you say were Morland's Marauder's greatest influence? Sorry, can you excuse me for a moment? Sure. Sure, take your time. What's going on? Getting all this, are you? The path of true love. Why does he use a stick, by the way? Because he's got multiple sclerosis. Oh, right. It tells you all that in his press clippings. Good to see you've done your homework. I suppose that makes things a bit difficult. Yeah, I suppose. Not really relevant to your story, though, is it? Depends. I haven't written it yet. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Special rate for a week. I want I want something top of the range. Scorpio. I want something with a bit more. Uh, you know. More. Oomph. Sexy like. Emily Goodman, 
Same address. Picked up two years ago as a witness to an affray at a teenager's party. Well, that's no big deal. Date of birth, 1st of the 12th, 1977. 77? I'd advise Miss Goodman to forget about the driving test and stick to our GCSEs. I take it something smelly's just hit the fan. 16 tons. Regular, aren't you? Come in. We've got company. Hi. Hello. Sally's doing something a little more in depth. I didn't really get a chance the last time. This one could be a great story. Yeah? A personal triumph. Love overcoming disability. That sort of thing. Grab yourself a beer. No thanks, I've just come to pick Emily up. Pick her up? It's about her bike. It's okay, I'll call you later. When did you two meet? Does Keith know? He doesn't need to know. He's back there with a reporter, for Christ's sake. If she finds out how old you are... How can he tell her if he doesn't know? You have to tell him, love. It's not fair. It's deceitful. I'm not deceiving him. He never asked. Oh, come on. It doesn't matter. It does. It does matter. Look, I know the score with Keith. I mean, physically. You don't know. You weren't there. Where are we going? Well, you're going home. I'm not a little girl anymore, you know. I know that. But in the eyes of the law, and as far as the tabloids are concerned, that's what you are. I can't tell him. It'll ruin everything. It's ruined anyway. Thanks to you. Why couldn't you let it be? Why couldn't you leave well alone? Sound. Sound as a pound. Speaking of which. Cheers. Fancy a pint. Gotta get back to graft, man. I told him I was just nipping out for a pack of the taps. Uh, no sweat. The man from the door will have a field there. He stuck his head in here. Somebody can keep their bands in shoes. Back on, lads. Job and finish. You got a minute? I've got all the time in the world, mate. What do you want? She's told you then. Nobody's told me anything. That's what's so pathetic. 
I've been si sitting here in the dark trying to guess how long it's been going on. What do you mean going on? You and Emily. Me and Emily? There's nothing going on. What makes you think that? It wouldn't be the first time, would it? Look, man, there's nothing going on between me and Emily. There couldn't be. Why couldn't there be, eh? Why couldn't there be? Because she's 15 years old, that's why. You asked me to find out about Emily's motorbike, right? So I did. I had a details run through the computer. Oh, thanks. That was good of you. And her date of birth is the 1st of December, 1977. She's 15, all right? She's 15! And I thought... Where are you going? Some detective view. Can I call you later? I don't think so. I told you, didn't he? Your mate. I'm glad somebody did. Why couldn't you? Because of the way you're looking at me now. Like I betrayed you. Funny that. Why couldn't he just leave you? Because he's a friend. And friends tell you the truth. I never lied to you. It's just that when we first met, I felt like I'd known you forever. I never felt that way with anyone before. I thought you felt the same. I'm sorry. What's wrong? Nothing's changed. Everything's changed. I know now. This thing we have, it's not gonna work. You're too young. You don't understand don't what... Don't patronise me, Keith. I know how I feel. So do I. I feel old and clapped out and stupid. Why? Because I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you I loved you either, but I do. You'll get over it. Please don't do this, Keith. Please. Slow. Can I call you? Lee said soon it's mended. You'll find someone else. Will you? I shouldn't think so. Not like you, anyhow. Sharpish. And you and it, you get this right. Rowdy. Rowdy! Stick? Yeah. I recognise the voice. What are you doing here? In a suit? It's my shop. Straight? Yeah. Very well done. Congratulations. Thanks. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, Stick. This is me mate, Grenville. You're right there, uh, Grenville. So, uh, what are you up to then? Well, uh, this, you know. Right. Do you fancy a, a bevy? I've, I've got some drink in the back here. Yeah? We've got time for a quick can. Just flip that sign on to close there, would you, Grenville?
Hey, I can't get over this. Fancy meeting you again, you know? Like this. Are you open, Pat? Should be. Hi. I just wondered how your story was coming on. Fine. I hadn't seen it in the local paper. My editor passed on it. Said it wasn't really suitable. Yeah. Well, there's a pleasant surprise. Not to worry. One of the nationals will pick it up. You reckon? Why not? Well, a story about some blues guitarist that no one's heard of for 20-odd years. Screwing a 15-year-old girl. That's why you're here, isn't it? Is this really the sort of thing that people want to know? Sure. And they're entitled to. He's actually committing a crime. But he's not... What? Capable. Oh, so groping her is all right, is it? Look, this is a child we're talking about. But then some men think anything in a skirt's fair game. Look, if you print this so-called story, you're going to seriously mess up two people's lives. And for what? Hmm? To get you your big break? Maybe. And is that really how you want to make your name? Well, just think about it, would you? Okay. So I'm driving along, just minding my own business, and I get a pull. One of these random checks, you know. One of them can be awkward. It's just bad luck. Cop has to look in the boot. For me two chopping axes, and a machete, some other odds and ends. Got a five stretch. Done three. And what rotten luck. Hey, Grenville. Why don't you take your mask off? Touchy subject. Skin mother. Right. Hey, anyway, it's, it's nice to see you again, Rowdy. It's nice to see you as well, Grenville. Well, what I can see, if you like. Yes, it's me. That's right, it's Saturday already. for your skateboard. Bang on time. Looks like business is booming. Say recycling saves the planet, we're just doing our bit. 
There you go. Ah. Not bad. One careful owner. Wasn't careful enough, was he? Want to try it out for size? Yeah, all right. Nice one, Steve. Hiya, car. Key's just sitting in the ignition. Unbelievable. Just what the doctor ordered. Get the plates off and tell Noddy to fire up the torch. Anything in the boot? Haven't had a look yet. Jesus. What? Oh, wakey, wakey. What the bleeding hell's going on? Who are you, then? The bloody driver. Don't be soft, man. Look at the state he's in. Oh. Are you then, eh? I'm, uh... Hold on. What's this? Detective Sergeant Dan Boyd. Oh, nice one, Steve. That's friggin' brilliant, that is. I have to warn you that anything you say will be taken down. Take him to the shredder. Go on, then. Hang on. Just one minute. Four light. Well. You telling me you had all this planned? Well, spenders exaggerating a bit, sir. But what can I say? Well done, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. But the next time you feel the urge to play the vigilante, ask my permission. We've quite enough cowboys in this department already. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll uh, get started on my report. I don't suppose you'll have seen this.
Well, she thought about it all right. Mr. Morland has volunteered to come in for questioning. There'll be the interviewing officer and one other. Three o'clock at the station. Mr. Morland has been cautioned, but not charged, and has waived his right to a solicitor. Mr. Morland, how long have you known Emily Goodman? A few months. And when did you become aware that she was under the age of consent? The other day. How would you describe your relationship? We used to be friends. Intimate friends? Best friends. Have you slept together? Was there any sexual contact? Kissing, fondling. Does kissing count as sexual contact? On these occasions, who made the first move? I haven't a clue. Did intercourse take place? Why don't you ask him? He knows. I can't. Can't? Get it up. Hasn't he mentioned it? Telling someone you were impotent wouldn't give you an alibi. You mean I'd have to prove I can't? That wouldn't be easy. But then it wouldn't be easy for you to prove that I did. Any improper physical contact constitutes indecent assault. What other contact was there? None. But you said that you slept together. I didn't say that. You did. Is this newspaper article the only evidence you have? We may be interviewing Miss Goodman. I don't think she'll be doing any more interviews for a while. Do you know anybody wants a big, daft, useless dog? Yeah. <laughs> 